Imagination Station. We've got Jeff in this morning, and uh, we're, we're talking about January. So it's revolving around air. Exactly. So, you know, I, I brought in some air with me, which is not that particularly exciting, but I do have some air with me today. But I also brought in some other gases. So this balloon I filled with a different gas. Can you, can you feel kind of can like the, the, may I? the weight of it? It feels heavy. It feels heavy, but when I take this off, you'll notice that it's about, you know, to, wants to kind of float away. Oh, right? let, let me see. Yes, I do. Excellent, excellent. So okay. you've probably seen, you know, um, your your uncle at a birthday party or something take a helium balloon, which yep. is what's in here. You know, and he goes and he grabs one and he undoes yeah. it. And yeah. And then he ends up talking like this the entire time, right? <laughs> which is always fun. Um, if you if you want to give it a shot, Chris. Uh, all right. sure. All right, all right. So, and the reason why this is happening is that helium is actually. Jeff, what's going? Oh my gosh, it really works. It does work really well. I didn't really believe you. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna take a deep breath in, deep breath out. We wanna clear that helium out. Now, you don't actually wanna do this at okay. home. We're, we think we're somewhat back to normal. Yes, yes, good, good. But you don't actually wanna do this at home because um, it will, your, your body's not designed to breathe helium. Okay. It's designed to breathe oxygen. Right. Right, and by helium's not gonna hurt you, but lack of oxygen will. And right. So we have a trained scientist here with you today, so we're okay. doing this, but you do not wanna do anything like this Gotcha, at home. message okay? heard, don't do it at home. Now, the reason why it makes your voice squeaky is because it's six times lighter than air. Okay. Which means sound propagates through it two and a half times faster. Uh -huh. So it doesn't change your vocal cords, it changes the rate at which sound propagates through it. Very interesting, that's the science behind that's it. That's the science, but um, I decided to bring in a, a little bit of a special gas. I have some sulfur hexafluoride. Okay. Can you see it? Isn't it, isn't it beautiful? Um, is, I'd be lying if I told you I could see a difference. It? I'm not seeing okay. anything. So it's translucent just like normal air is. So we're going to have to get a little more clever if we want to see it. So okay. I'm going to remove. Now, how are you pulling the lid off here? Explain I'm, I'm, this I'm to me. I'm just pulling this lid off because I've actually put the sulfur hexafluoride in here and it's six times heavier uh, than normal air. Uh, and so to see it, I have a, this is just a normal air balloon, right? Okay. I'll take this one from you. Okay. All right, we'll just, we'll just get rid of that. Um, go ahead and take that and just place it on top of my tank here. All right. Just like you're, you know, you're, you're putting a bobber in, in some water and just... Shall yeah, I let yeah, go? Yeah, just go ahead now? and let go. Okay. Very cool. Isn't that just amazing there? Isn't that just so cool? Yep. And, and if, you, if you could see too, the, the balloon isn't attached to anything or no, surrounded by you, anything. You can it's... go ahead and tap it. You can, it's almost like it's a, a, a cork in water. And that's because, they, don't do it too much, you're going to get rid of all my sulfur hexafluoride. Well, that stuff's expensive, Chris, okay? <laughs> now, um, it's six times heavier than, than normal air. You okay. know, helium was six times lighter. So what do you think would happen if we inhaled some of this? Um, our voice would get very deep. You think so? Well, you're, I, I, you're, you're about to find out, so I, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to do this, so oh, here you go. Oh, all right. thank you. <laughs> all right, you ready? I'm so, a guinea pig in many forms, ready? Right, Same yep. way as the helium? <laughs> that's good. Luke, I am your father. <laughs> keep talking, keep talking. I can't believe that just came out of my mouth. Okay, we're gonna take one deep breath in and deep breath out. Let's do a second one just to make sure. And your voice will be back to normal three to six weeks, don't worry. Um, <laughs> Go ahead and talk. Is it, is You're it? not going to be invited <laughs> back next week. I'll tell you what. It's pretty cool, right? Um, and what's really cool is since it's so much more dense uh, than the air, it kind of, it kind of, you can kind of pour it. So if I okay. I can actually talk by pouring it directly into my lungs, okay? And it's, uh, it's a great way to learn about, you know, density and air and, uh... Wow, um, just don't try to pick up any ladies that way, okay? No, you know, yeah, yeah I don't think it's going to work too well. All right, super cool. So we're just talking, it, it goes around with the January, so we're talking about the density of the different gases mm -hmm, and, of mm -hmm. course, uh, how it, it affects the propagation of sound waves that come out of uh, our simple airwaves in our voice. Yeah, very All cool. All right, you guys very are just cool. down the road, Imagination Station, and January goes through All when? All of January. Very, of course, of course. I just so. had to ask the obvious <laughs> question just to make sure. All righty. Thanks for doing this with me, Chris. May Very I, cool. One yeah, more oh, time. Oh, please do. We will have much more W2L11 your day when we return. <laughs>